three, two, one, and go. Doing some PB attempts. Let's go, y'all. So this is the first time I've ever gone in with a mindset of... I want this run to be a PB, right? All my other runs, I was just trying to finish the run. I was trying to learn the run. I was trying to practice. I didn't really necessarily want... I, I always wanted to PB, but I really just wanted to finish the run, right? Like, have a good run. I think this is the first time I'm ever going into it with... If it's not going well, we're going to reset. So, here we go. I wonder if I'll be more critical of myself because of that. Okay, skip that. Don't bonk, don't bonk. Awesome. Lots of good cap dives just then. I also like how you can jump right before the cutscene starts. <laughs> Did y'all see that? I was like on the rail. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. What I was saying was I like how you can, you can jump before the cutscene starts and then Mario will start like doing a jump animation or get whatever distance he can and then he just stops in midair for the cutscene. Totally wasn't have, making the frog run during all of that. Yes! Yes, it does AH. So what that means is, you know what? Every, every once in a while when I finish a split, that number is... That number turns gold. What that means is that is the best time I've ever done that segment. Right? So that segment would be like just doing this Cap Kingdom, right? From the beginning of the game, to when I do this first split. That's like a segment. Um, some of best takes all of my best segments and adds them up. So, if I had a run where I did everything the best I ever have and added it together, I would have a 11956. Does that make sense? So it's not my personal best. I've never ran the game that fast, but it's almost like a track of my potential. Right? I have the potential to do that right now, and I've proven that I can do each one of those segments fast enough to do that. So my personal best though, the fastest I've ever actually completed the game, like in one sitting, is... Uh, 125 and some seconds, right? Like just now, do you see over there on the right hand side that that number's gold? That's the fastest I've ever done cap. And that was a really good cap, too. Like, we had we hit all those really good cap dives. We hit, Our topper wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. Um, so, so now after this run, actually, you see it right now, uh, the sum of best little section there, the number changed because I, I got a new best segment. That number's now 119.52. So you see how it updated in real time. Let me know if that made sense. Master the text. So this is a really good start to the run. Let's hope I can get first try Dino Skip. Because that would be pretty, pretty baller. Three. Okay, let's go. Dino skip. I practiced this a lot. We got it first try last time. Let's see if we can do it again. Boom. Turn. Good. Nice. First try dino skip again. Perfect. There we go. Good first capture there. Go ahead and roll 90 degrees around her. Big plenty of space. Good. Nope. Come on. There it is. Go all the way around her again. And then start running to the left. And get right up close to this so I can capture it immediately. Okay, got there. That's okay, though. 
No, turn, 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 get it. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, don't die either, though. That would be bad. Okay, so I need to work on that strategy a little bit in order to optimize so I don't get hit and that kind of stuff. But we first try Dino Skip. Mm, we'll see. We'll see if we gain or lose time. I feel like we're gonna lose time, but we'll see. And we'll see. You know what would be really cool, y'all? To see a real-life dinosaur. And the reason I think that'd be cool is because we actually... We don't know what they look like. Like, they're fleshy bits, right? Like, we know what their bone structure is. But... We don't know... What, like, their skin or anything looked like. So I wonder what their skin and stuff looks like. I think that'd be cool. What do y'all think? Uh, that means we have gained time. We are ahead. So basically, uh, if it's a minus, that's good. That means I am further in the game than I was during my personal best. So I'm ahead of my personal best. Boom, so right there, another goal split. Hypes. Uh, so we are currently 25 seconds ahead of our personal best. So if Aaron has a plus, that means we're behind. Ha! Yeah, it is, Levi. Yeah, it is. But if you think about it, bro, we don't know what they look like. Like, all of like these pictures we have of them and all of this other stuff... We don't know if that's right. Like, for example, like take the human skull. The human skull has this nice hole right here where the nose is, right? There's no way for someone in the future to look at uh, our skull and know that we have this weird protruding piece of cartilage, right? Like there'd be no way. Nice. Awesome, you're welcome, H. Ask any more questions you'd like, man. Let me know if it makes sense in everything for you. And if I can explain anything differently, or if you need to hear it again, feel free to ask. I do not mind explaining or re-answering questions or anything like that. Not at all. Right, Levi? Right, I'm just saying. Like, there's no way for us to know. So that's what I want to see... I want to know what a real-life dinosaur looks like. And, oh, and do they have feathers? Because that's that, that's a hot point. Like, there was that big, like, what, geographic article that came out a few years ago that said that they had feathers. But then they said that there was other people saying that that article was fake and, like, or not fake, but, like, just inaccurate and their sources were bad and that kind of stuff. So I want to know, do they have feathers, right? <sighs> Saved it. Saved it. Awesome. That was that was a bit risky there, but we saved it, so it's okay. Okay, let's try not to run into any of these Goombas this time. Good, and we got over the wall first try. Perfect. So we messed that up last time, so I'm glad we got it. One, two, two. Nope, I didn't get my three like I usually do. Okay, we'll just have to go with it. Ooh, blind jumps there. I'll take that, even though we got hit at the end. Oh, nope, nope, nope. There we go. Yeah, exactly. They are very similar, right? Like, there are, like, things that could be the same. But, dude, did they, though, Levi? But did they? I don't know. I think that'd be really cool to find out. Also, that was unfortunate. Come here, Bullet Bill. Got it. 
I guess that could bring the next point. Would you be in favor of a Jurassic Park like experiment or undertaking? What do y'all think? Yes or no? Would you be in favor of a Jurassic Park like experiment or undertaking where we tried to somehow bring back dinosaurs via genetics or some somehow, right? I don't know how. Like, however we would make it happen, we made it happen. What do y'all think? There we go, and out. I feel like that was a decent little sphinx room there. Okay, and down under. So I always liked this little part of the game where you had to go under the wall because this entire area is teaching you don't sink in the sand and then to get to this moon, you need to sink in the sand. And I thought that was always fun. Right? Yeah, no, it'd be extremely dangerous. Like, that's kind of the argument against it is, yo, if these things ever got out, hundreds, if not thousands of people are going to die. Right. So is that worth the risk of possibly like learning about them or, or bringing back this extinct animal species, right? Um, and I don't know. Uh, because, like, there's, like, such a high risk to it, I don't know if it'd be worth it, right? Like, what would we get out of it? Rather than knowledge and satiating our curiosity, right? What would we actually get out of this? Out of bringing them back to life? I mean, pleasure? As in, like, entertainment purposes? Like... Oh. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Like, I don't know if... That would really be worth. I mean, it might be cool to have some kind of, like, dinosaur pet one day. That'd be pretty nifty. How are we doing time-wise? We're like over 30 seconds ahead right now. Wow. Or 50 seconds ahead. Okay, so after all these animations end and after the thing, we'll think we'll be like 30 seconds ahead. Okay. Okay, and that guy moves. And then we fade to black. Boop. 35 seconds ahead. Awesome. We gained 10 seconds. Good, good. Okay, let's have a good late kingdom now. Whiskey Scooby, how you doing? Welcome in. I'm Lucid Faith. Thank you for the compliment. We're a family-friendly, positive community here. Uh, I would love to get to know you a bit better. Uh, Mr. Levi, if you can go do the exclamation mark question mark command and have Mr. Scooby, we do have a question of the day. Would love for you to answer it. We are doing some Super Mario Odyssey any percent runs today and currently discussing whether or not Jurassic Park is a good idea. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's currently the topic of conversation. Is Jurassic Park a good idea, yes or no? And why is it a good idea? Because I feel like it'd be really cool, but I don't know if it'd really be like worthwhile. Like, what do we get? What is, what do the humans get out of bringing back the extinct race? I think Levi had an answer to that. <sighs> Ooh, Levi, that is a, uh, that is a good point, man. It, it, when an animal goes extinct, right, like it's survival of the fittest, they were they didn't adapt to the situation or the climate or whatever and because they went extinct the actual ecosystems of the world and the area did change to accommodate that right 
And so bringing him back, especially like if we just let them loose in the wild, is going to throw off the entire food chain. One, two, three, four. Okay, missed it. One second, y'all. Let me try this again. Got it. Okay. Second try, I will take that. Okay, let's try to get this. One second, y'all. I'm gonna focus for a second for this boss fight. Whiskey, I did see that you answered the question of the day, and that is awesome. It is awesome. I just don't know why I didn't hit him just then. Okay, let's try that again. Backflip. Ground pound through. Tap through. There it is. That's what's supposed to happen. Interesting. Okay. <sighs> Honesty and open communication. Yep. Whiskey, I believe that you're dead on. Uh, my personal answer, um, honestly, 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 your answer, Scooby, goes along with what a lot of other people have been saying about being open. Um, Levi's big thing was being open about your feelings, your life, your emotions, what's going on, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, no. Personally, I think it is thoughtfulness, Whiskey. As in, thinking about someone when you're doing other things. As in, like, when you're planning an event, include them. When you're at a restaurant, uh, thinking about what they like, topics of conversation, their interests. Doing things with intention. Doing things on purpose for that person. Yeah. Yeah. I think thoughtfulness is a really big one for me. <sighs> I think AH. <laughs> Around the streets of Canada. <laughs> Mr. Levi with the tier two sub for eight months in a row. Levi, thank you for your continued support of Luce's Legion. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much, man. You have been such a huge supporter of this channel and of me and of helping me grow this channel. It's Whiskey Scooby with the follow. Whiskey, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome in, friend. Welcome to the community. Uh, I hope you are enjoying the show and enjoying the community. And I hope you stick around for a while, man. And with that, we're back to 150 followers. Whiskey. Thank you so much for 150 followers, man. But Levi, thank you for your sub. Greatly appreciated. You are a boss. Thank you so much, man. Ridiculously generous. Great guy. Uh, for those who don't know Levi, he is a streamer as well. He's been doing some Anno 1800. Um, He's been doing some, some doing, been basically doing variety lately, and he's just a great guy. His stream is a lot of fun. Um, he has these sound alerts that go off. He has great overlays. He's just, it's, it's, it's a fun place to hang out in. It really is. Your son's having a great time here? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we are a, a family-friendly stream. So, Whiskey. Uh, welcome, man. I'm glad that your son is having a great time. Hey, Whiskey Son. Hope you're doing well today. Yeah. Because I have little brothers, and I want them to be able to jump in here whenever. Right? So, I, I don't want something where I have to keep it away from part of my family, right? Because they're video gamers too, my little brothers are, and like, they look up to me. So, yeah. And David, I saw your comment. I hope so. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, we got hit. That's fine though. We're waiting on the water to come up anyways. Okay, I'm gonna be patient. Go, 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 go. Good. Nice. Although, wouldn't it be hilarious, though? Okay, I guess it wouldn't be hilarious. No, I'm not gonna finish that statement. <laughs> there it is, good. 
Oh, speaking of giant monsters running around streets, I recently saw Pacific Rim Uprising, the giant mech and monster movie. Have y'all seen that? It was a sequel to Pacific Rim, right? That came out a few years ago. I finally saw the sequel, Uprising. Have any of y'all seen that? I really liked it. Thanks, Levi. Appreciate it, bro. It's it's going well. It is going well right now, and I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. We have Flower Road Skip coming up. I hope we get it. We failed it last time, so we'll see how this goes. And I actually intended, or intentionally, had the Piranha Plant eat Cappy there so that we don't have to do it on the way back, so that the moon's already spawned and they're ahead of time for us. I was watching a, a run and someone did that. I'm like, that's a great idea. His name is Braylon. Be tuning in often. Perfect. Well, hey, Braylon. Hope you're enjoying it. It is super exciting for y'all to be here for me. So, we stream every uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 6 p.m. Central for any of those out there who are new here. Welcome in. I'm Lucid Faith. Okay, this is Flower Road Skip. Give me one second, y'all. I need to set up and focus on this jump. Got it. Nailed it. Awesome. That's what we want to see. Perfect. So, uh, doing that saves, if you do it optimally, which I don't, uh, saves about seven seconds over taking a bridge that comes up in between that platform and the platform I jumped to. So, a little speed tech that I've really been working on. I'm excited I got it that run. Whew. GG's. Pog Jam. That's right. Appreciate that, Levi. Yeah, so far this is going well. Let's uh, let's hope it keeps going like that. Don't want to jinx it just yet. <sighs> Go pop pop. Good. Okay, so now we're on to Spewart, uh, the the boss for this area. He's one of the brutals. Let's see if we don't die to him this time. We died to him in luncheon for some reason. I have no idea. We, it was just bad play. Let's be honest. It was just bad play. It happens. Okay. Get ready for him to move. Throw the cap. Turn. Okay. Wait for him to move. Jump. Good. Throw the cap. Turn. Backflip. Boom. Got it. Oh, okay. But speaking of giant monster movies, uh, the new Godzilla is coming out soon. Is anyone excited to see that? Ha! Thanks, Levi. Appreciate it, bro. How are we doing? Uh, ooh, snap. Guys, we, we might be like a full minute ahead after this. That's kind of exciting. Cool. Yeah, is anyone interested in the new, in the new Godzilla movie? I didn't grow up with Godzilla. So, I don't know if I'll be into it, but I enjoy, like, giant mech movies and giant monster movies like Pacific Rim. So, I think I will? I'm not sure. Yeah, never- yeah, I feel like that was just before us, Levi. I feel like that was really big in probably, what, the 80s? Isn't that when the, the original Godzillas came out? No, Godzilla's older than that, isn't it? And split on black. Boom! Minute 26 ahead. Oh, uh, let's get this. So that's another gold split. So that is the best we've ever done wooded. Let's go. This is a really good run so far. This is a really good run. Whew. Okay, so the biggest thing for me right now is I need to stay calm and not get too excited and just press too many buttons, if that makes sense. That's basically what I need to do, is kind of stay a bit more calm. Okay, Let's see if we can get a good Bowser fight here. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and dive at him. 
Good. One down. Two to go. Levi, do you like giant, or anybody, do y'all like giant monster stuff in general, though, or is it more just Godzilla? That's not really appealing. Cool, that was almost really bad because I was holding down the LZ button, so Mario was rolling constantly as I was doing those attacks, so that's how I ended up behind him and almost falling off. Okay, I got hit there, but that should be fine. Yeah, it's fine. Interesting. We actually got hit while diving at him. Huh. I wonder if we were too close when we started to dive. So then he hit us before the, the boxing glove hit him. Maybe? That's interesting. Okay, we're gonna split on black here. Boop. Okay, we lost five seconds just then. Okay, not the end of the world. We're still doing pretty good. King Kong every now and again? That's fair. I didn't like the new King Kong movie. I say new, the latest one that came out with Jack Black. I did not like that movie. I, I, I didn't. It was not a fan of that one. Okay. Uh, focus time again, y'all. One second. Okay, good. Okay, so what we did there was we sequence break, broke, sequence broke, lost kingdom. So intentionally, you're supposed to go straight along that path from the Odyssey, and a vulture is supposed to steal Cappy from you. Well, by doing that jump there, we avoid the, I guess, the trigger zone of Cappy getting stolen. So we can actually do this entire kingdom without doing that. If we do it correctly. Yeah, news in 2005. <laughs> Leave me alone, Levi. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Now here's the other hard jump of this kingdom for me. I'm going to go and wait for this to stop moving. Uh, I didn't like that. So, what happened there was I hit the moon early by accident, right? Um, by hitting the moon early, I was afraid I wasn't going to make it down. So, I tilted the controller towards land. I hit land, but then I ended up holding my LZ and started rolling. I didn't react fast enough and completely lost control, basically. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this, because we're gonna need to hit it in a second. So I decided to go ahead and go this way, just because we need to go this way for the moons that we need left, rather than going back around and doing that hard jump again. So this is what you're supposed to, this is what we were trying to skip, was all of this, of getting up here, having him capture happy and all that. That's what we were trying to skip the entire time. And this text. Uh, but now we've done all that, we can go and turn and continue back along our path. So that probably lost us a good 45 seconds, probably. But we're still ahead. So it could be okay. Okay, so we didn't break both blocks there with that uh, bug bomb. So we're gonna have to do that again as well. Let's wait for him to spawn, have him grab it. Okay. Proper posture. <laughs> so those who follow me on Twitter or in the Discord, you may know that I recently bought a DDR pack. Dance Dance Revolution. Do any of you, have any of y'all even played that game? Dance Dance Revolution? Got it. And we're going to intentionally die here. Okay, I'm not sure where this is going to put me. 
I don't think, did I hit the checkpoint earlier? I did, okay. Yeah, Dance Dance Revolution. Now... Yeah, it, it was really popular like a decade ago, but... It's really good activity and like cardio for me personally because I'm so out of shape and I hate working out so I bought one so I could exercise and I played it for like 20 minutes last night when I got my pad in I died y'all I was like out of breath like toppled over trying to breathe oof oof it was bad it it, it was pretty bad <laughs> Uh, but it should do its job of giving me some form of exercise. But if you haven't checked out DDR, definitely should. Um, it's basically a rhythm game, like a dancing rhythm game where you play with your feet. And uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I'd highly recommend checking it out if you haven't. Uh, if you go to any arcade, you'll see a few, mach uh, few machines there. So... Good, first try. And if you're interested in DDR, but don't want to like, play with your feet, you can look up uh, Flash Flash Revolution, or Dance, or FFR, right? Which is the same thing, but you play with your fingers on a keyboard. But it's a rhythm game as well. I personally love rhythm games. Of the 13? Ooh, um, I haven't really heard you talk about Metro Kingdom much. What about you do the Metro Kingdom one, David? That's my favorite uh, kingdom overall, so I say that one. You guess okay? <laughs> it's the hardest one? Oh no! Maybe not that one, then. Alright, y'all. Uh, need a little bit more focus for this part. I'm choking this jump, y'all. Uh, this run was so good. So that runs hard, that jumps hard for me, for some reason. So it's a blind jump across this chasm, and if you fail it, as you see, you have to do the whole room again. And this jump has been the bane of my existence in these runs. But it's too optimal like your lake? Okay. I mean, I guess, is there any... Koopa free running race that you're not great at yet, David? That you like you want to work on? Or I guess not, because it's what you said, like. Hmm. What about is there a Moon Kingdom race? You're in snow, you'll do that? Alright, bro. Okay, focus again. Finally, that's what we were trying to do the entire time. Okay, well, at least we got a second try. Um, that's gonna lose a good bit of time. That is. But, if we don't die in Luncheon Kingdom, like we always do, we can still have a good bit of time to save. So there's still hope yet for a new PB. Oh, interesting. So you're actually a full second off of snow. Have you not grinded that one very much? Or is that one, like, also really hard, David? Because the other ones you were talking about, you were, like, less than half a second off of world record. So I feel like it's kind of interesting for you to be a full second off. Okay, now let's go ahead and set up. Let's see if we can get this first cycle. So set my... Reticle at the top there, just with full motion. 
I'm gonna take the hit on purpose. Nice, got a first cycle, good. Okay, that's pretty good actually, because we usually don't get first cycle, so that might make up for the time we lost with having to redo that jump. So we may not lose as much time as I thought we would. Gonna go for within a second. Do you use that strat, David, because you like... Because you're used to it, I guess? Or do you find the optimal strat just not very fun? Okay, fade to black. Oh, because we lost 30 seconds. 30 seconds is pretty rough, but we're still ahead. And we have a lot of time we can save. I know we can save, like, 20 seconds in... Moon Kingdom, which we've been doing consistently, so yeah, we'll see. Hey Tom, how you doing bro? Welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Oh, get in there. You haven't learned it super hard? Wow. It's interesting that you're within a second, or just like about a second of the world record, and you're not using world record strats. I feel like that's kind of interesting. Tom, question of the day for you is, what is the secret to friendship? Okay, got it, okay. Oh, it doesn't maze that much time? Okay. All right, uh, Dave. Sounds good. I almost called you Tom. Uh, Tomodachi, how is your YouTube channel going, bro? I remember last you chatted, you had like, what? 20 subs or so or on YouTube? Uh, explanation mark, uh, PB in chat. Tomodachi, it'll show you what PB is. It's like a 125 something. One hour, 25 minutes, some odd seconds. I don't remember what the exact thing is. But explanation mark PB will give you the exact time and the YouTube video if you want to check it out. I'm, I'm very still... I'm still very new okay i'm not new to this anymore i can't say i'm new but i'm still a, a novice runner for sure for money money's the secret i don't know about that one tom uh, i don't know about that one bro what i didn't my dive didn't come out um okay why didn't my dive come out i felt like i pressed the right buttons that's either a dropped input or I did something wrong. And I don't think it's a dropped input. Okay, that was me being bad. So right there, I pressed the LZ, or I pressed Y, my cap throw button, before LZ. So then I just did a ground pound rather than a dive. This jump should not be this hard. There we go. Thank you. Ooh, you're at 51 subs? Oh, that's awesome, Tom. Congrats. Congrats, man. That is legit. What kind of content do you push, bro? Is it all stuff about Tamadachi life, that game, or do you do a variety of stuff on that channel? Was bad mm, oh just missed it yeah so i meant to jump on my hat there completely missed my hat unfortunately we're having a lot of issues in this day metro unfortunately there it is so that's a blind it's not really blind but i try to snipe it sometimes i haven't quite got the exact angle down yet Tamadachi Life songs? Oh, that's interesting. Can you make songs in that game or are you making songs like about it? And your new videos average about 100 views. Dude, that's so cool. So what I do for YouTube is I just upload my regular playthroughs right straight to YouTube, but they don't really, no one ever watches them. 
like I think my highest video has like two or three views so because it's it's not what I have on YouTube right is just my basically an archive of my stream and that's not YouTube content because people come to Twitch so that they can chat and talk to people right and so if you put that same exact content on YouTube, it doesn't really perform well. And that, that's something I'm trying to work on. Yahoo! You make songs in the game. And you've seen my vids. Yeah. Yeah, you've seen them. Because it's just my it's just my stream. Uh wrong button. Okay. So I'm actually working on uh, editing one of my previous streams down to like 17 minutes or less. Something like that um, so that it's in a more digestible format for people to watch on YouTube the highest views on the channel was 36 wait what really 36 what video has 36 views wait really the video I have has 36 views I mean that'd be really cool if it does I didn't think it did though I legitimately thought like my highest view count on a one video is like three maybe five last time you checked wait really what? <sighs> okay so we lost a lot of time in night metro lost a minute there we lost time in cloud <sighs> okay so I think we're gonna still be on track though and boop. Yeah, we're still 10 seconds ahead. So we only lost 20 seconds in Day Metro. We could gain time in everything else, though. There's still time we can make up. Oh, thanks, Tom. Appreciate that, bro. Okay, skip this. Okay, uh, ooh, do we have. We died twice so far this run, right? Once intentionally once accidentally so we should still have enough coins to buy the moon here bro congrats that's awesome david that is so legit are you gonna post that to youtube or not uh, i mean just twitter actually that's a good point does the koopa free running community have a site to submit their stuff to for leaderboards or is it all through like Excel documents? Or do you all use speedruns.com? Like, how is that tracked, David? For those who don't know, um, speedrun.com is a site that does basically tracks all speedrunning content and like leaderboards and stuff. Like, it's just kind of the site everybody uses. I mean, sure, I'm sure there's there can be other sites and probably will be eventually, but that's just the way everyone uses right now. So. But Cooper Free Running is kind of a subset of this game. It's not really like a true speed run. So, 0.8 seconds is huge. That is awesome, man. I'm super excited for you. And you use a cell document. Okay. That's pretty awesome, dude. I'm, I'm excited for you. I'm pumped that you got that. Okay, awesome. Yeah, we have 252 coins. Yeah, we have plenty. We have plenty. Okay, and then I'm gonna roll out of here. Okay. Whew. Okay. Okay, so we messed up in snow last run because we had we had to reset our Goomba, our Goomba room. We had to reset it. Okay, I'm trying not to bonk on places, because I'm really bad at doing that. Okay. Hmm. So, David's name and Tom's name on my screen are the same color, so I keep looking at it, over at it, and I get confused about who's actually talking. <laughs> Luckily, they have different badges, so that makes it a bit easier for me just to glance over. Uh, oh wait, we also missed up this room, so we could gain or do some decent stuff in this room. Hmm. 
Hmm. I really thought that would have been good. Okay. That's fine. We got out there second second attempt, so not the end of the world. I wonder why I didn't have the horizontal distance there. Maybe I shorted my cap. I, I did my cap throw too early and shorted my jump. My backflip. Maybe. Yeah. I'm not really sure, though. Huh. Okay. Okay. Ooh. We just had a little hiccup in frames. I think we should be good, though. Y'all, is the stream still good? We still up? I saw my bit rate took a little dive there in my uh, preview buffer for a second. Make sure we're still up and good. I think we should be. Number of episodes, not views. Okay. Episode 1 has 13 views, though? Oh, snap. That's still massive, though. 13 views. Thank you for checking that, Tom. That's awesome. Yeah. I'll take 13 views. That's cool. All right. So already this room is going much better. The stream is good. Awesome. Thank you for verifying that, Tom. I appreciate it. I got a little bit worried there. Okay. Two moons left here. Let's go ahead and nab one of them right now. Okay, don't hit the pillar. Good. Got it. You should be the last one looking through all my videos. Jeez, man. I have like 300 videos on YouTube, so... That's a lot of effort, Tom. I appreciate that, bro. <laughs> Yeah, most of them are just Let's Plays, right, of, of the stream. They should put up there for, like, archive. If anyone ever wants to watch something I've done or re-watch something, it's all on YouTube. Um, Explanation mark YouTube and chat if y'all want to check that out. Um, warning, some of it is <laughs> lesser quality than I have now. Because I have stuff on there from like when I first started streaming, um, before I had a green screen and a proper mic and stuff like that. So, but 372. Wow, it's a lot. It's a lot. All right. Um, I think time-wise we should be pretty, pretty much on point. Um, uh, we may have lost a few seconds. I feel like our snow is pretty good. We had that one mistake in that first room with bonking, but other than that, I feel like the, the room is pretty good overall. Oh, oh, it's not splitting. It's not splitting. Okay, it worked that time. I literally hit the button like seven times. Maybe I wasn't pushing it down hard enough. I might have not. Yeah, Dishonor was the first one. Yeah, David, that that new PB or yeah, best you got and and snow is massive, dude. Congrats on getting that. Yeah, Dishonored was the first game, first full like story based game I streamed on Twitch. So that one's a bit rough. <laughs> okay, that was better and the camera. TV pace? Uh, technically, yes. I'm now three seconds behind. We had a pretty bad uh, night metro, and we also messed up in uh, Lost Kingdom, right? The oh, wait, it's not over there. It's over here. Um, so we lost our like minute lead to that, but there's still a lot of time we can make up later in the run. So. No, I'm not gonna make that. Yeah, Dave is better at this game than I am, for sure. He, he's kind of a boss. <sighs> we did this so well last time. Why can't we get it again? There we go. Got it. What's the fastest worldwide? I believe the fastest any percent time right now is. Uh, 
59 minutes, 47 seconds by Goryuga. I think his name is Goryuga. Uh, if you want to take a look at speedrun.com, it'll be there. 5946, that's what it is. Yep. That is the best worldwide for the any percent current patch category, which is what I'm doing. Get in it. Chaos did it too, David? Wait, really? Yeah, I appreciate it, Tom. But Dave's right, I have a lot of work to go. But hey, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Um... Wait, so is Chaos and Goryuga both tied for world record right now? So Chaos Springle is another uh, SMO speedrunner. And he was actually, yeah, I'm pretty sure he held the Super Mario Odyssey 80% record for some time. So that guy's kind of a beast. Yeah, so it's, it, yeah, so it's all, it's all, uh, perspective, right, on how you want to look at the time from a casual perspective, like 15 minutes, right, or I guess Peter running perspective, so. Smoke stand for? I'm not sure what you're referring to. Tom? Is there smoke somewhere on my screen? Is it maybe my splits? Did something get cut off? Oh, SMO. Uh, Super Mario Odyssey. Yeah, Super Mario Odyssey. SMO is just a short way of saying it. It's just the abbreviation. Sorry. It's easier than saying Super Mario Odyssey every time. And especially like when you're typing it out. It's just easier, so... Wait. Did I split correctly? Did we just gain time again? Wow. Yeah, we just gained 25 seconds somehow. Cool. Okay. Okay. We need to not die in luncheon. Do not die in luncheon. Do not die in luncheon. We keep dying in luncheon, and it keeps destroying our runs. If we don't die in luncheon, we're going to gain like a minute just from not dying. It's going to be ridiculous. Also, I need to get salt pile skip first try. That'd be nice. See how that goes. Okay, so this is salt pile stick. I'm going to focus. Nope. So right there, I know I didn't get it because I didn't wall jump fast enough. Nope. So I'm not getting a first try, but that's okay. There we go. That's... Nope. Ha! I don't know. I think it's just efficiency more than anything, uh, Tom, rather than like laziness. I mean, uh, no, nah, I'm not gonna ask that question, never mind. There we go, finally. Oof. Okay, so that probably lost that 23 seconds right there that we previously made up. But again, if we just don't die, we will make up so much time just by not dying. <laughs> you live off abbreviations, Tom? That makes sense. Okay, so this guy killed us last time for some reason, so let's not die to him this time, shall we? And jump. Good. Throw cap. Turn. Let go. Backflip. Good. Okay, do that one more time. One more time? Two more times. I think just one more time. Throw cap. Turn. Boom, got it. Mm. 
Oh, really, Tom? That's cool. That's pretty awesome, man. Okay. That's pretty good. But. Oh, the fireball? Yeah. The fireballs the, the fireballs in this kingdom are really cool. I think that this game does a really good job of creating memorable and interesting enemies for you to capture in each world, right? Because each world has its own creatures and things that you can capture, and they're different in every place. And I just think that's really good touch by Nintendo, right? And like these gimmicks that they put in there only last for like that world, right? So it never gets old, right? Because like, sure, there's the capture gimmick, but because you can capture so many varied things in so many different situations, I don't know. I feel like that's really, really cool and really well done. Mm, that might be a little short. No, we're good. Okay. Oh, uh, the gushin. That is called a gushin, Tom. Yeah, those things are really cool. There's over 55 things to capture. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. So something I still want to do one day is actually like 100% this game. I actually haven't like 100% of the game. I haven't done everything in this game yet, even though I spent a long time playing it because of speedruns. The water blob. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that, Tom. Uh, I don't know about that. Pretty, pretty sure it's a gushing. <laughs> there we go. Okay, uh, turn and grab this guy. Okay, so we died in this room last time. Let's try not to die here, shall we? For some reason, this this fork room just gives me so much trouble. No idea why. Well, I know why, because I think I, said I try to take it too fast, and I press too many buttons. Oh, there it is, okay. Witter Billy Octopussy? No. Witter Billy Octopuser. O Octoputter. Yeah, yeah. That part, Tom, I think you're definitely right on. That definitely is the scientific name for it. Yes, I agree with that. Go up. Shake control to go faster. Backflip immediately. Good. I was able to do the backflip immediately and avoid that Goomba altogether. That's nice. Something I get, gotta get better at is immediately jumping and doing something out of cutscenes. Right, so like the moment like the cutscene ends from Like something like this, or a moon, I can immediately move Mario around. And I need to be doing that, like straight off the bat. Just to save like a few seconds here and there. Wit, we, bib, e, ock, o, poopers. Ock, o, poopers. Sure, Tom. Sure. <laughs> what have you say, bro? Okay, so here comes the part where I usually die. And it's not even like, honestly, I feel like it's kind of hard to die here. So let's try not to do that. Okay, we just need to clear this very little gap to our left. Very little gap, just gotta clear that nice and easy, right? Good, now do this jump. Good, made it up. Cross. I do this gingerly because I don't like to die. Got it. Okay, good. <laughs> My homework practice for the week. Aye, right, bro. 
Sounds good. Good. Hey, y'all, guess what? We just did Lunging Kingdom without dying. Can we get some hypes in chat, please? Can we get some hypes in chat? Oh, yeah. Mm, finally. Lunging Kingdom without dying. Here we go. This could be the run, y'all. Because just doing that is going to save us so much time. Okay, so we were current, we were 23 seconds ahead, right? We did mess up Salt Pile Skip like four times. So even with messing up Salt Pile Skip, let's see what we get. Are we gonna get a, are we gonna get a good like 40 seconds? Tom with the Lucid Hypes and the five bits. Tom, thank you so much for those bits. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for the hypes. Boop. Boom. One minute ahead. Gold split. Let's go. There it is. Okay, so we got to do Ruin Kingdom and then Bowser's Kingdom and then Moon Kingdom, and we're all done. So we're currently a minute ahead. Let's do this. Okay, so the next thing that could really mess this up is Bowser's Kingdom. So let's hopefully not choke Bowser's Kingdom. And we should be fine. Should be, should be fine, y'all. We did have a really good Bowser's Kingdom last time, so it's possible we can do it again. Okay, time for one of my favorite parts of the game, the good old dragon. Okay, I think dragons are some of my favorite mythological creatures. What about y'all? What's your favorite mythological creature? And by that is like your favorite, like it's fake or made up creature, really. The dragon's type is that his name is David. No, no, this dragon's not, name is not David. This is something Lord of Lightning. I don't know his name is though. But he is the Lord of Lightning, which is really cool. Yeah, what's your favorite made-up creature? Favorite mythological creature? I think phoenixes are really cool. Like how they die, but they are reborn in ash. Like, that's pretty cool. His name's David. You, you're, you're sticking to your guns. I appreciate that, Tom. David is the Lord of Lightning. <laughs> Have you seen, uh... What's that? It's the movie with the penguins? Uh... I think it's one of the Madagascar movies. Where's the octopus? Like, it's Dave! And they're like, Dave? And like, the penguins don't remember him at all? Do y'all know what I'm talking about? It's a hilarious movie. Oh, that was sad. That was sad. Uh, Mario, please? Okay, that was a little slow, but we got it. Derek? No, Daryl, no. So, okay, cool. Yeah, you know exactly what I'm talking about then. Yes. Yes. Yeah. What movie is that? Is that the actual, like, Penguins in Madagascar movie? Or is that one of the... random Madagascar ones? You've watched that movie way too many times. It's so good, though. I haven't seen it in a while. I really haven't, but it was it was so good. Okay, how are we doing on time? Uh, I think we probably lost a little bit of time to that dragon, but only a few seconds. Penguins in Madagascar, that's what it is, yes. Split on white. Lost one second, I will take that, awesome. So we're going into Bowser's with a one minute lead. Mm, that's exciting. Okay, let's see how we do. Okay, don't choke. Oh, oh, 
Good, 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 good. Yep, yep, yep. Clear all that. Clear this. Okay, so the I guess the couple parts I'm worried about this is there's lots of places just to fall off, right? If I'm not careful, um, the mech at the end is a little bit concerning. The boss fights, if I don't do those well, that could be concerning, or if I die to them, which I have in the past. So yeah, there's there's a bunch of little things that could go wrong in this kingdom. So let's see. <laughs> Stop paying attention to chat and just go fast. <laughs> but Tom, I like interacting with chat. That's that's why I stream. Oh, missed it. There you go, got it. Woo! Totally almost fell off there. Did y'all see that? I just like walked on that rail. <laughs> Come on, bro. I, I gotta, I gotta reach out. It's important to me. I need better posture. My back's hurting. That's one of the reasons why I picked up the uh, DDR dance pad. It's just for <sighs> exercise in general, right? I hate exercise. I don't know about y'all. I don't like running. I don't like working out. I just, it's not fun. It hurts. I feel like it's a waste of time, but it's, it's really important. Like you need to exercise to be healthy and it's, it's unfortunate. So, well, at least, uh, yeah, Tom, I got, I picked up the dance pad yesterday. I got it ordered and I got it and I played DDR for like, I don't know, 20 minutes and I was just dying. Have I tried to dance? Uh, yes, I have danced before, um, mostly two step because like I'm from Texas, so that's what we do, but I don't know. Don't don't fall off. Okay, good. I don't know. I don't really like just dancing though. For some reason, for me, I enjoy digital trackers. Right? I like watching the numbers go up and slowly getting better at something. And DDR kind of does that. No, the game just dance. Um, no, actually, no. I have not played that game. Have you played that, Tom? I always kind of looked at Just Dance with kind of a cynical eye, to be honest. But now that I'm thinking about it, how is Just Dance any different from DDR, right? It's just a different dancing game. Yeah, I bet it is really good for exercise. You're totally right. Is it fun? Tom, have you played it? I'm assuming you have. Huh. Cause that's... That's kind of interesting. I never really thought about Just Dance before. It is on the Switch, so I could pick it up if I wanted to. That's an option. Okay, perhaps jump on him. Good, got it. Back up. One, two, immediately go to the side. Jump, got it, good. Wait for two pairs of hats. Jump, uh, I was a bit late on my jump there. Okay, so he's under one of these hats. He's under whichever hat uh, doesn't explode in one hit. Which is the last one. Okay, good. Throw a hat twice. Move to the side. Jump on him. That was a pretty good fight. That was a pretty good fight. I'll take that. You and your sister play it a lot? Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Would you recommend it? Yeah, I guess that's the question. Would you recommend Just Dance? And has anyone else here played Just Dance? Chat? Feel free to chime in if you have. Oh, that was bad. Okay, missed. So what I was trying to do there is knock the smaller bombs immediately back into her. If I do, I can skip her throwing out the big bomb. But I missed all my uh, 
I guess deflect deflections. There it is. That's what I was trying to do. That's how you speed up this fight. Good. This time right here. You would. All right, and you'll be right back. Awesome, bro. Sounds good. I was too late on that hit. There it is. Nice. Okay. So that was a decent fight. Um, we got the first one completely messed up, right? They went straight to the big bombs. Second one, first tried it. Third one took me two tries. So I guess average for me, to be honest. But I'm okay with that. Okay. Seven more minutes until the end of Bowser's Kingdom, according to my timer. So we'll see if we can do this. Okay, so this is the ascent. Uh, a lot of things can go wrong here. I've practiced it a good bit. Probably should practice it more. See how we do. Okay, Let's dive here. Okay, we need to start our shovel jump early. Good, that was nice and early. So I have, I always have trouble starting that too late, basically. Good, made it up. Running start. I missed my cap somehow. I haven't done that before. I've never missed my cap there. I'm not sure how I did that, to be completely honest. I'm not sure what happened there. Okay, I'm gonna try to super fast get back to where we were. Okay. Okay, made it that time. That's what we wanted to see. And then throw the cap down. Didn't. The last time it was auto capture him on the way back. Completely missed. Okay, so that death. While it's gonna lose this probably good 20 seconds. It's not the worst death ever. That was good. That part was a good climb with the Pokio doing the uh, motion control jumps and then getting the motion control twirl in as well. That was pretty good. I'll take that. Now here is good old Mecha Brutal. So let's see if we can't do this. I'm gonna focus you for a second. Mm, not good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try a second time. If it doesn't work, we're just gonna go with the easier strats. Yeah, let's go for the easier strats. I don't want to waste a lot of time doing this because I could just get straight up stuck on this, to be honest. Okay. Okay, so we're going to kill this guy and then try to get right back on this. Ah, I had it. I had it, but I pressed the button again by accident. And I let go of the thing. Okay, that's unfortunate. So, but honestly, in our PB, we didn't do fast mech. So, as long as we don't die here, which we only have one hit left of life, we should be fine. Oh, I missed. I missed again. <sighs> okay. I just need to focus. Just knock the bomb into the lake. Knock. Okay, thank you. Okay, good. We have another opportunity of getting back on here. I think. Good. Yep, it's gonna be right here. Good. You should blast me off here in a moment. Good. Okay. Okay, she's running around. We're gonna kill, we're gonna try to kill Harriet. That's our goal, we're gonna try to kill Harriet, which is the one up top. Okay, she's gonna spin. Boom, wait for the spin. Got it. Missed, okay, that's fine. You know what, I'll take it. At least we got one of them, that's something. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm gonna die here, guys. Uh, I need to get this other... Okay. 
Yeah, get out of their heart. Okay, now we'll get the Pokio. Uh, we need to kill, we need to get that Pokio before it dies. Yeah, I died. Oh, it's still alive. The Pokio is still alive. Okay, let's go get the Pokio. The Pokio is the bird, by the way. Okay, one hit. So this is, this is pretty slow, y'all. Um... Because we did a mixture of these strats, and the strats just didn't, like, my normal play of hitting this just didn't go well. I don't know. Don't fall on me. Who has returned? Well, welcome. Welcome back. Um, I think we might have lost time, to be honest. But we're gonna see. <sighs> Okay. Yeah, so I, th er, I don't know. I don't I, I, another 46 seconds until we're back at 102. I'm not sure. So that was a pretty rough mech fight. We missed the first couple jumps. Um, we ended up missing a lot of the bombs when we had the Pokio trying to hit the legs. We had to back off and play safe to get the heart so we wouldn't die. Yeah, that was just a, a rough mech bite overall. And we died on the ascent, right? Because we missed our, our cap jump once. And that just completely destroyed us. Yeah, yeah, we lost time. That, that was a rough Bowser's. A rock gym? You mean like for like rock climbing, Tom? Your message didn't send? Uh, I don't see one right now, David. And it's put on black. Ooh, yeah. We lost 30 seconds. I mean, could have been worse. We, it was only 30 seconds with that death. Not terrible. I'm not sure, David. I, I didn't see... World record was just improved? What? When did that happen? Like, literally just now, then. From 59 to 59.35. Whoa, an 11 second improvement? That's massive. Who did it? Who has the world record now, David? Was it, uh... I'm assuming it's probably maybe like Nicro or Chaos or someone. Rock Obstacle Course Centers. Really, Tom? That sounds like a lot of fun. That actually... It's almost like an adult, like, playground. Chaos did it? Oh, dude, that's awesome. GG to him. That is awesome. That's, that's so cool. Jeez, with so much competition going on for this world record, it's gonna get so optimized. That's awesome. Okay, jump up here. Okay, focus for a second for this. Okay, I think that should be good. Yep, awesome, first try. Okay, that, that could be better. Okay. So it's a, a tiny time loss there just because I had the wrong jump, but whatever. First try moon skip. Uh, with 34 seconds ahead, we could get sub 125. We could. It's a possibility, but we'll see. Sub 59 race? Yeah, for sure. I mean, that sounds like a lot of fun, Tom. I think I'm too far away. Yeah, I was too far away. Yeah, I was too far away just then when I when I grabbed the hat. I should have been more patient. Waited for myself to get up more on the mound before jumping. One. Yeah. 
one one mile from your house dude that's awesome i might have to check that out because that sounds like a lot of fun the only thing is like i don't know i just don't really like gyms and like gym memberships and having to pay for them i feel like i don't know oh wrong one where are you at where are you at, where are you at? No, no! Ah, oh, I was rolling past. I was rolling past him. So I didn't let go of the LZ button. <sighs> Have I ever watched a in, uh, is that American Ninja Warrior? Tom? And if so, yes, I watched American Ninja Warrior when it was still like Japanese, right? Like where it originated. And then I watched some of the American one, but honestly, by that time, like, I was kind of over it. Um, the Japanese one, in my opinion, was a lot more fun to watch yeah but yeah I, I love stuff like that it's so cool but I, I watched so much of it I kind of got tired of it to be honest uh, I mean David as long as we don't choke we should be able to do it that was 30 seconds ahead coming in but honestly we have kind of choked this fight pretty hard so far yeah cause we missed up two of the skips so far so two Three. Oh, do they really, Tom? That's that's pretty awesome, man. That's that's pretty awesome. Okay, y'all, four minutes, or er, not even four minutes, less. I don't know. I I, I think we'll PB though. I I think we'll probably PB. Three minutes? Oof, I don't know if we can do this in three minutes. World, rec World record is two? Oh, to do this end part, you mean, David? Yeah, I, I don't know if, uh... I don't know if we can finish this in three minutes to, be, to get sub-125. Yeah, I don't know. Because, like, my aim and stuff isn't quite good enough for the end uh i'm going for 2d skip though we're going for broke i'm going for 2d skip we need every second we can get right now okay okay so since i didn't get first try i think i should lost time by doing that <laughs> but oh well we got it all right david so, yeah, so I really want to get this PV, y'all, so I am actually going to take David's advice, and I am not going to rechat until the end of the run, just so we're on the same page. Okay, y'all. Let's do this. Two minutes. Two minutes. Come on. I was too far to the right. Don't hit me. Oh, it's only three of them hit. Oh, because they hit rocks. That's what I Yo, I think we might get it. I think we might get 125. I think we might get it. Here it is. Come on, come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go,